Let me show you three different ways that you can create custom shortcut keys inside of Windows 11. The first method that I'll show allows you to open any program that you like that's on your computer by using a shortcut key. To do this, we need to create a shortcut for the program that we're trying to open. I happen to have this Firefox shortcut on my desktop, but what I wanna do is show you how you can create the shortcut yourself. First, we need to navigate to the actual application that we want to run. To do that, let's click the Windows button and type in the application that we want to run. In my case, I typed in Firefox and it shows my best match here for that app. Then I wanna right click on it and go to open file location. This will open my file explorer and from here, the shortcut's already created, so we could just copy and paste this onto the desktop or use this particular shortcut. However, say the shortcut doesn't exist or you just wanna go through the process of creating a new one. If we right click this Firefox shortcut and then go to open file location, it will open directly to where the application exists. So now if we right click on the application and then we select show more options, we get this whole list of options that might be installed on your computer. Down here at the bottom, there will be a create shortcut option and that's what we'll click. If you're in some restricted folder on your file system, it'll tell you that you have to create the shortcut on the desktop. And so we'll just say yes. Now, if I close out of this, you'll notice that that shortcut was created and now we have two shortcuts on the desktop, one for Firefox and one for the Firefox.exe shortcut. So let's right click on the one that we created and then go to properties. Now inside this properties panel under the shortcut tab, you have this shortcut key that you can assign. If we click on the box next to it and then press any of the buttons on our keyboard, like say I'll press D, it will automatically add Control and Alt, and that's just so that it doesn't interfere with any other potential shortcuts that you have on your computer. So this will be the new shortcut. If we hit Apply and then hit OK, and then I hit Control, Alt, and then hit D, and it opens up our application, and now we can start using Firefox. This method also works on folders to open them with a custom key. If we select a folder, hold Shift, and right click, we get that same big menu again, and when we scroll down, we have this option to create a shortcut. From here, we go through the same process of right-clicking, going to properties, and then setting our shortcut key to anything that we'd like. The second method, which includes this, is opening up any command tools that you might want to use. If we right-click on the desktop and then go to new and then select shortcut, it will give us a menu where we select what shortcut that we want. This is saying type the location of the item, but if we just type in CMD to open up the command prompt and then hit next, then we can type the name for the shortcut. This one in particular, we'll just keep it as cmd.exe. Hit finish, and if we double click this, it will open up the command prompts, but we want to add a shortcut key to our keyboard. We right click, we go to properties, and then we select the shortcut key that we wish to use. Here I'll do control alt G, I'll hit okay. And then if I hit control alt and G at the same time, it should open up the command prompt. So those are the first two ways of utilizing your keyboard to open up different files or folders, but we want to be more flexible sometimes. So what we can use is a third party tool called auto hotkey to do pretty much anything that we want. To download AutoHotKey, you need to go to AutoHotKey.com and then click the download button and then go through the installation wizard to install the application to your system. Once you've done that, you can create your first hotkey by right clicking on the desktop, going to new and then selecting AutoHotKey script. Now we need to give it a name. So I'll name it my first script and hit enter. Now this script isn't going to do anything because we haven't written any code to actually do something. So in order to do that, we need to edit it. Let's right click it, click on open with, and then select a program to edit with. I have Sublime Text, but if you choose another app, you can select the Notepad application and just open it up with that. I'm gonna use Sublime Text because it's a little easier for me to work with. So now when you open up the script, you'll have some text in here that's already written. What we wanna do is go down to the last line and hit enter so that we can start fresh on what we want our hotkey to be. So a simple hotkey might be something like this where we have a control F as our hotkey and and then we have two colons signifying that's the end of the hotkey portion. And then we have this run, which runs a web browser, which is your default web browser and opens up the HTTPS www.facebook.com. And then we have this return to say, this is the end of the hotkey code. This is a very simple script. If we go ahead and hit control S to save and then minimize, we can then double click on our, my first script on our desktop and it will run the script. So now anytime that 
we hit the hotkey, it will automatically take us to facebook.com. So now if we hit control F, it opens up directly to facebook.com. Now that's cool in and of its own, but you can actually do way more. This application is very flexible. It allows you to do pretty much anything that you want on your system and assign it to a shortcut key. So for example, I've created this control plus shift plus G, and what it'll do is it will take whatever selected text that you have highlighted and then search Google for it. And you can even do it anywhere from within your computer. It doesn't have to be the browser. So I can select copy the selected text to the clipboard and then hit control shift G and it automatically pulls up Google and searches that particular text. We can also do it from within a browser window as well. If I select this, where is my clipboard in Google and then hit control shift G, it opens up the new tab and searches directly for me. So you can see how auto hotkey can be very powerful, but it also takes a little bit of knowledge to get going. So whether you're just trying to open up an application with your keyboard, or if you wanna do really complicated things like searching for text that you've selected on your screen, you can use these different methods that I've shown in this video in order to do that. And with that, that's how you create custom shortcut keys inside of Windows 11.